how to select color in Photoscape X and turn the background black and white. Let's show you how to do that today. All right, so here's what the original image looks like, and here's what it looks like when the color is selected. And I've also masked a few other colors in as well. So this is what it looks like. It has a nice uh, black and white on the back, but you still have the color of the flower right there. So let's close out of this. One thing to note, this is completely free in the Photoscape X free version. Um, so you drag your image in, and then you're going to be in the Edit tab. This is the easiest way to do it. There's other ways, like you go into the Cutout tool and cut out your uh, object and have uh, that uh, pasted back into the front. But this is the easiest way possible. So you're in the Edit tab here. You go down to Adjustments. If you got a bunch of different adjustments here, what you're going to look at is the Point Color Emphasize uh, uh, Emphasize Color. So here's what you do. You go in and you can select any of these colors here. So you could select, um, you know, orange. You could select yellow. You could select green. But the thing is, you actually have a color uh, selector here. So you can just go in and select the color. So we can hit reset here, hit that color selector, and go and select the yellow in there. And if you select, you know, just the right yellow, you can get a really good selection automatically and it's really nice that this is in the free version so it's uh, accessible to anyone so what you have here is you have the selection and it's worked out fairly well now you can adjust it with the foreground saturation or the background saturation if you wanted to not take all of it away you could still leave a subtle amount of the green or you could increase the saturation and make it really saturated or you could leave it at a neutral so it kind of just stays where it's at um, let's see by default when you first jump into this thing and you have it selected it's set at a 30 uh, or a 30 uh, value of saturation so that might be a little too saturated for you so you could tone it down a little bit if you want to now you might be asking yourself wait a minute what if I only want one flower not this background flower that's all blurry we don't want that and maybe you're looking really closely and you're like oh no there's some points in here where it didn't actually select or deselect certain parts well what's nice is that it's actually able to be adjusted using the mask tool I've made an entire video about how to mask in Photoscape X but thankfully in this tool it has the mask option as well I can select that and then what we can do is we can add things or subtract things to the selection so let's subtract this yellow shape uh, or this yellow flower that's blurry and out of focus so we're going to go to subtract and then we zoom in here and we go and we are just going in and brushing out that flower and when you click in you can see other red sections that's all the selected areas so if you know hey I don't want this point in here or I don't want this up here or this up here or any of this you know you can go and deselect all of that as well and what's nice is that it's actually pretty quick and pretty simple to do we let go of our mouse and there you go we went from having that uh, blurry flower selected and showing that color now we have it taken off now it still doesn't look perfect because the stem and everything isn't quite right but what's nice is we can still go in and select what we need one thing that's cool is that you can turn the background saturation down so you can kind of see what uh, colors are there when you're selecting or deselecting certain points. Um, so I'm going to leave that turned on just a little bit as I go to add. I'm going to add a little bit of more here onto some of these leaves. I want to make sure that this whole flower is well selected. I want to come down here and I want to make sure this is all selected in here. And what's nice is that you could zoom in super detailed if you want to. If you wanted to get super precise, uh, we might not have time to do all of that for this project. But what's nice is that for future projects, you can choose what you want to select, what you don't want to have selected. And it's totally up to you of how much time you want to put into these kind of projects. So we get all this selected in here. And what's nice is we can change like the brush size or the hardness. If you wanted to go a little faster or be more detailed, really Photoscape X does a good job making it real simple. So if this is helpful for you guys, definitely leave a like on this video 
and definitely subscribe if you haven't already and you want to see more videos on Photoscape X and simply me helping to explain complicated things, whether in photography or in other things. Uh, so let's see, I'm going to zoom in as well. All right, so we get all this selected looking good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn down that background, turning it down, 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 all the way down. And now you can see we've got the stem and we've got the flower all selected. It's actually really neat to play around with the amount of adjustments you can have here because you could have it where it just it still has some, but that's your focal point. I think that's really cool. So definitely play around with that, but you can hit apply and you've got it applied. Looks really good. Uh, so you guys, we can see the original here and then you can see the after. That is how you make a photo from something where it's full color to just being partially colored and the rest black and white. So you guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.